I love getting games for this Mega Drive collection. New indie titles and re-release collector's editions. And in this week's show, we have a collector's edition of the classic Eliminate Down. My name's Mike, and this is the Retro Gamer Boy Show. To eliminate down, I know nothing about this game. The only thing I do know is that it's got a suspect cover uh, and that it costs over a thousand pounds to buy. Came out in Japan and Korea, I think, and I don't think it got a US and uh, or a power release. So Retrobit bringing this collector's edition out means that we'll be able to play it for the first time in the US and in European territories. Already it's uh, looking pretty good. Love the music. This is some really cool music. This intro looks pretty cool as well. Right, let's, uh, let's get into the game. I'm playing it completely fresh. I've not played this at all, so I'm probably gonna be terrible at it. Right, let's uh, take a look at config first. What do we have? Rank, normal, easy, yes please. We'll go with that. Uh, five ships, then we got our attacks. What have we got? Two button shooter as well. So we've got weapon select and shot. Just gotta remember that on. Yeah, we'll keep wrapping on for now. Mini game. Oh, interesting. Right. Let's start the game. Presentation's really nice. Ooh. Cool. Very robotechy. Very robotechy. I love that. So I think I'm shooting behind me. Oh, okay, so if I, I can change my weapons. That's interesting. So I can play up the front here and then fire backwards. That's quite cool. That's very, okay, I've lost my shield now. And I'm dead. It looks really nice. The presentation is fantastic. Really, really nice. Sound effects are a little weak, especially when you're shooting. Like, I'm not really getting any kind of weapon sound effects. Which which makes the shooting feel a little bit light. It's nice, just feels a little bit floaty. Oh, I thought there might be homing missiles. Oh, I see. So, like, attack here. And then move forward and change to your gun. Okay, so switching weapons here is really important. Very, yeah, visually really, really impressed. Cool, this boss took a lot. Okay, now I can hear the weapon actually. It's a little bit weak, the sound effects. The gameplay is really nice. Especially for a, a shoot em up of, uh, of its era. Oh my goodness. What's going on with those missiles? How am I going to dodge all of those? Okay, missiles. I keep on forgetting I need to change my weapons. There's definitely a, a heavy strategy to changing the type of weapon you've got. Power up. Oh, look at that. Yeah, those power-ups makes a big difference. I keep on, I don't know if anyone else finds this. I've got rapid fire on, so I could just hold my finger down. But I feel like I need to press. I feel like to really experience a, uh, a shoot em up, you need to press the button. So you're gonna switch, to, uh, switch to the other weapons, see what they look like. It's pretty cool. This is a very cool shooter. Oops. 
So I don't know if this is still the first level or if I'm on a, a different level now. Oh, got myself into trouble there, didn't I? Oh, game over. Continue. Yes, please. I think that was just round one. Okay, let's get back to where we were before then. Right, back to where we were before I died. I thought this might be the second level, but it's not. We're still on the uh, still on the first level here. Which is pretty insane, actually. I love the presentation, right? The, the fact that we've gone from a, a massive galactic battle to now being on the uh, surface of a planet. It looks like it's uh, Mars or something like that. It plays really nicely. I've got to say, the, the thing that stands out for me here is the presentation. Feels lovely. And it's really nice when you change your weapons, you can see your, your ship changing configuration as well. There's animations on the ship. So it's not just simple um, simple uh, weapon changes here. It's, it's actually doing something significant. Oh no, I've lost all my power-ups. Couldn't see what I was doing with the... Um, I couldn't see with the mountains there. I couldn't see what I was doing. I'm dead. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. I thought I'd be. I was like, yeah, I got out of that. No, got absolutely destroyed. Wow, the configuration of this boss is insane. It's got like three or four states to him. really nice you know I like um, there's other shoot em ups I like I love R type but the bosses really only have like one state to them this has got multiples and multiple bosses in just the first level it looks like that felt really nice that felt really really nice ooh Round one clear, right. Ooh, nice presentation. Do like a little bit of a, a mid cut scene. Out in space again. We've got our barrier on. Ooh, that's nice. That was a great attack. Very kind of Tron-esque. Collect these power-ups. Oh, I do not, oh, I'm dead. Okay, let's take a look at what you get with the Retrobit Collector's Edition and dive a little bit more into this game. Eliminate Down is an expensive game. $500 to $1,000 for the cartridge alone. And it was only a Japanese and Korean exclusive game. But thanks to Retrobit, we're getting a re-release of this game in a collector's edition form and it's officially licensed. By now, you know to expect a quality collector's edition from Retrobit. And Eliminate Down is no different. With a collector's outer sleeve, reversible inlay with Japanese art on one side and Korean art on the other side. There's a full colored manual and what Retrobit call an Emerald Nebula cart. It's another lovely collector's re-release for Mega Drive and Genesis fans. The game is available to pre-order now until the 2nd of January 2024. After this, you'll have to check those eBay auctions. I've enjoyed playing Eliminate Down, although I haven't had as much time as I'd like due to some pretty big things entering into the collection. But as soon as I get a bit of free time, I'm going to knuckle down and try finish the game. From what I've played of Eliminate Down, I would say that your gun sound effects are definitely the weakest part of the game. It also gets a little bullet howl later on, which I don't cope with that well. But the boss attack patterns are brilliant and varied, and the level design is interesting and very dynamic in places. Like on the first level, when you need to make your way down to the planet's surface through a barrage of missiles. Visually, the game is stunning as well, with some lovely narrative elements, like the massive battle in the background at the opening of the game, or the huge firewall that chases you down in stage seven. 
Eliminate Down is definitely a game for shoot 'em up fans, and if you're a Sega 16-bit collector, you won't want to miss out on this re-release from Retrobit. So another rare, expensive game being re-released for us by Retrobit in collector's edition form. I love getting these collector's editions for my Mega Drive collection. Now, if you want to support this channel, it would be great if you can reshare this video. Remember to hit that little thumbs up. And as always, I'd love to read and respond to your comments in the section below. And if you're new to the channel, it's so the first video you've watched and you've enjoyed what you've seen, then you can subscribe by clicking on a little button just below this video. But that's all we've got for this week's show. I'll catch you on the next one.